Isang magandang buhay. Okay, now we're going to discuss for the mathematical language and symbols. This will be the chapter 2 of our lesson. Question. Is mathematics a language? Isipin nyo. Di ba? And then, is mathematics a universal language? So, very tricky tanong, di ba? True or false? If mathematics is a universal language, then mathematics is the language of the universe. Sagutan nyo yan, ha? Kasi nasa activity natin yan doon sa aking naka-upload sa Google Classroom. Okay. I wanna hear it. I wanna see kung ano mga isasagot nyo doon sa tanong na to. Okay. For the mathematical language and symbols, so, alam natin, language is a systematic means of communicating ideas or feelings by the use of conventionalized signs, sounds, gestures, or marks having understood meanings, according to Miriam Webster of 2017. What are the importance of language? First, we have the language of mathematics was designed, di ba sabi nga dyan, importance ng language ay invented to communicate ideas sa iba, di ba? Remember, iba, nagsasign language, na nagkakaintindihan sila, at least, nagkakaintindihan sila. Kaya nga, ininvento uh, in ang language to communicate with others. Okay, so, the language of mathematics was designed, first, we have the numbers, sets, functions, and perform operations. These are the four uh, ways na kung paano natin gagamitin ang bakit nga ba dinisign ang language of mathematics. First, ano ba convention? So we have the order of operations. We have the PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide, add or subtract. So these are the order of operation. Tell us you the sequence to follow when you are performing operations in the mathematical expressions. So, remember, naalala nyo, di ba yung MDAS? Ngayon, may PEMDAS na because of the exponent and parenthesis. So, we have also the Greek letters. So, remember, this is the pi. Na kung saan, naalala nyo yung bali ng pi. That is pi is 3.14. Sometimes, 3.14.16 ang ginagamit nila. Di ba? Pagka kinukal sa decimal place. And then, we have the value of omega. Madalas natin ginagamit yan. Or yung alpha. So, ito lahat na ito, halos ng symbols ito ay ginagamit natin. Or in delta or change in. Ano yun? While for the sigma, ginagamit din natin yan. Diba? So, ano naman yung sabihin ng variable? A letter that represents an unknown number. For example, we have x, y, z, or n, kung ano yung ginagamit natin. So, dito man, nakita natin, this is a, the coefficient. Yung x dito, yun yung variable, yung ating hahanapin, or yung unknown, di ba? So, we have here the operation, kung plus or minus, or multiplication. And then, we have the equal sign, and then we have the constant, di ba? Yung magagamitin natin. Okay, so, the mathematical language is system used to communicate mathematical ideas. So, it has its own grammar, Syntax, vocabulary, word, order, synonyms, negations, neg negations, I mean, conventions, idioms, abbreviation, sentence structure, and paragraph structure. What are the characteristics of mathematical language? First, we have the precise. Concise and powerful. Pag sinabing precise, it's able to make fi very fine distinction. Saan siya ginagamit? For example, a square is different to a circle based on definition. Alam naman natin, di ba? Magkaiba yun talaga. Kaya precise. Paano naman di concise? It's able to say things briefly. For example, twice the number 8 is 16. Di ba? So, 2 times 8 is equal to 16. 16. Or, paano ba tayo? Verbal praise and expression. For the verbal praise, we have the sum of 6 and a number. 8 more than a number. A number plus 5. A number increased by 7. A number decreased by 8. Or 10 times a number. 
or 7 divide by a number. Kasi yung number, yung number pwede mong gamitin yung x, y, or z. Depende kung ano yung gusto mong gamitin. Or depende doon sa ibinigay, di ba? For example, sabi yan. Sabi yan. 6 plus x is the sum of 6 at a number. Pagbasa daw dito sa verbal phrase, dapat ang pagbasa mo dyan ay the sum of 6 and a number. Pag dito naman daw, 8 more than a number. Diba? Or a number plus 5. Diba? A number plus 5. Or a number increase by 7. Diba? So, yan yung pwede natin mga gamitin na verbal phrase. So, a number decrease by 8. Ayan. And then 10 times a number. Or you can use open close parentheses of 10n. Diba? And then we have with 7 divide a number. So this is the mathematical expressions. So this is the mathematical language. So you have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So alam natin kung saan to mga ginagamit. So yung plus the sum of increase by or total added to or more than than or greater than so yung mga ginagamit natin dito di ba? minus so the difference of or decrease by subtract from less or less than for the multiply we have multiplied by the products the product of times or twice or thrice for a division we have divide divided by the quotient of per or ratio of so, yun yung mga ginagamit natin. For the last characteristic is powerful. So, it able to express complex thoughts with relative ease. For example, 2 plus 4 means we need to add 2 and 4 to get 6. So, yun ang ibig sabihin dyan. So, for example, we have work is equal to force multiplied distance or W is equal to force times this. Or, for may inclination, we have the work is equal to force times distance times the cosine theta. For the English language versus mathematical language, ano ba difference ng dalawa? For the noun and phrase or mathematical expressions, so we have here, for example, Christian, noun yun, alam natin, di ba? Or 2 times 8. That is a mathematical expression. Gerson's dog. Uh, noun yun, di ba? Or phrase. So, ito naman. 4 plus 8. So, alam natin that is a mathematical expression. Where small i's. Noun din yun. Or 2, 2x minus 5y. Di ba? Kasi dito yung ito. Pwede noun and phrase. Di ba? Yung mga yan. Or this is a mathematical expression. So, alam natin the difference between the English language and the mathematical, mathematical language. So, mamaya, I'm giving you a activity regarding dito. I-identify mo kung siya ay noun, phrase, or mathematical expression. Paano naman doon sentence and mathematical sentence? Okay. So, sa English language, syempre, iba yun. Saka sa mathematical language, iba, magkakaiba yung dalawa. So, we have here, for example... Alicia is beautiful. E dito naman, 2 times 8 is equal 16. Or Anze, uh, Angelo has a dog named Sedi. O, yun ang sentence natin, di ba? 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. Jude is handsome. Or 2x minus 5y is equal to 0. Di ba? So, yan yung mga difference na ating na mathematical sentence and a sentence regarding sa English language versus a mathematical language. So, itong uh, activity na to ay gagawin nyo. Ayan. Eh, di ba, no? So, nakita mo yan. So, nakita mo dito. Pag-check mo to, you say, 
identify kung English kung English sentence siya or mathematical sentence. Alam natin it's mathematical expression. Ito, yung two. Mansion, English noun. So, we have here, two, 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. That's a mathematical sentence. Where August 11, 2008 is my birthday. So, that's an English sentence. So, yan yung difference kung paano siya gamitin. So, yan yung ating example. Okay. So, later on, magigigay ako sa inyo naman. Activity na din yan, ha? Yan. Y minus 12 is equal to 8. Y plus 4. Ano siya? Mathematical expression. Alam mo kagad na match siya, di ba? So, mathematical sentence. So, alam natin yun. It's mathematical sentence, di ba? So, madali lang siyang gawin, di ba? So, pag nag-activity, kaya mo siya sagutin. At alam mo kung paano i-identify kung siya English noun or English sentence. While for the convention in mathematical language, convention is a general agreement about basic principle accepted as true according to Miriam Webster of Dictionary. So, we have mathematical expression. So, a correct arrangement of a mathematical symbols used to represent a mathematical object of interest and it does not state a complete thought. So, for the mathematical sentence, we have a correct arrangement of mathematical symbols that state a complete thought. For the grammar of mathematics, so the mathematical notation used for the formulas has its own grammar, not dependent on a specific natural language, but shared internationally by mathematicians regardless of their mother tongues. So, for example, we have the word is could mean equally, inequality, or membership in a set depending on how they are used in a sentence. For example, 10 times 10 is 2 times 5. 10 is 2 times 5. Ano ba siya? Equality, inequality, o membership. Kasi alam natin na 2 times 5 is 10. So, yan ay equality. Di ba? Uh, 10 is greater than 3. 10 is greater than 3. Hmm. Ano siya? Equality, inequality, o membership. Ano sagot nyo? Hmm? Kung sagot nyo inequality, tama. Bakit? Kasi nga, remember, oh, pwede naman tayo mag-ibang ng number na Basta ito ang ginagamit yung greater than, less than, or more than. Check nyo kagad na halos quality siya. Pero depende pa rin, ha? Kasi yung 10 natin, alam na, pwede naman 7 is greater than 3. O, inequality nga, di ba? Or 10 is a natural number. That is, ano? Ano sagot? Membership. Siyempre, yung 10 kasi, isa lang yun sa mga natural numbers. Marami tayong natural na numbers. ba? Okay. So, at least, nagkakaroon tayo ng idea kung paano yung difference ng equality, equality, and membership. So, meron tayong activity mamaya dyan. Okay. Ito na pala activity. So, ba? Yan. Y plus Y is equal to Y. O, ano yung sagot yan? Ano yung sagot nyo? Yes, tama kayo. <laughs> Mamaya natin sasagot na yan. So, ito yung ating mga ating, ating gagawin. Ayan. So, I hope na masagutan nyo yan. Ha? Mm -hmm. Next, grammar in mathematics language. So, number two, pwedeng so, yung number in a sentence may be cardinal, ordinal, or nominal type. Okay. Check natin. For example, my phone number is 0997580102. So, that is a nominal. Diba? I have five sets of pair of bodies. Ano siya? Cardinal, ordinal, or nominal. That's a cardinal kasi nabibilang natin siya. Diba? Okay, next, we have here, Jason is the first place in the singing contest. Definitely, that's the original. Kasi yung first place, second place, basta yung may mga pwesto. Yan, mga ganun. Or first runner-up, champion, di ba? So, that's an original. Next, 
Ito yung activity yung gagawin natin. You have to identify the discarded nominal or the nominal. Yan. So, dapat alam nyo yan. Well, for the grammar in mathematical, another one, we have three, is the words N on OR means differently in mathematics from its English use. Kasi marami tayong ginagamit na N tsaka OR na iba ang ibig sabihin sa mathematics compared sa English. Lastly, we have mathematical obje objects may be represented in many ways such as sets and functions. So, ito yung ating mga grammar mathematics. I hope na nasundan nyo yung aking introduction for the mathematical language. So, ayan. Maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. I hope na may natutunan kayo. And then, see you on my next video. Salamat. Ciao!